Good day, everyone. Today is Friday the 14th, 3.22 p.m. Eastern Time. Before we start, uh, we have a risk disclosure, and that's video for education purpose only. We will be showing today the difference on the new update uh, between the scalping and uh, uh, the swing trading. So I'm going to show some example today on the A scalper, how you can A scalp, uh, how you can scalp the market and how uh, we can uh, trade uh, the swing trade. And this is an example on a 300 tick. And this is not a market. Uh, 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 this is not a, a limited price. This is a market order. When we go on a higher time frame, we can uh, we can not worry about a couple takes slippage and um, this is a 300 take which the 300 takes on the gold uh, is uh, very good and this is the same auto trade let me get this one out of the way this is the same auto trade and we can see on the swing trading we started at around 1218 and here is your 1218 so here is the difference between those two we had an entry in the same time and here is your scalper it took a small trade one trade two trade one losing trade two losing trade and then a swing really nice beautiful trend but here is the things a lot of traders they don't get it that we don't know when the market is going to spike if it's gonna spike around eight o'clock nine o'clock ten o'clock in the afternoon we don't know and a lot of people ask me uh, what is the best time we don't know when the market spikes but when you start your auto trade around the opening hours like 8 8 30 I will go for, with the trend I will go on the swing trading when the market in the afternoon like July and August is gonna be really flat market a lot of people on holiday so it will be an idea that when the market is a little bit flat you can scalp the market and using the same auto trade but what I would like to show a lot of traders they make a mistake because the CL not long time ago we had a spike on the CL at 929 one minute before the market is open and then uh, went like a hundred take 120 takes and then the rest of the day we were just watching the CL here there is something I would like to show you on any kind of instruments once we have a spike on the on the, any given market usually the market gets flat for a while and a lot of traders when they see a good trade or when they are auto trading they get excited and now they want to stay with that auto trade any auto trade and they want to make more excitement out of it and this is the, the the biggest mistake because if we look at this area here usually after the spike the market go flat and we can see the market from 8:32 to probably around like half an hour this is normal the market stayed flat I mean not much to do anymore and then look at this and this is a really nasty area to auto trade so once you see the market spike and you really took the trade for today that's mean you need to call it off not to get more excitement out of it and uh, we can see the exit here the both of them this one here on the scalping really got uh, 1540 and on on the swing trading got uh, 1660 let me show you another example between those two auto trade the advantage about uh, scalping and swing trading is depends on the market and what time you start in this auto trade and uh, let me show you another example today I want to show you um, the 
this is the scalpin on the 30-year treasury bond and this is a market order and this is the 30-year treasury bond on the swing trading and it is the same auto trade with a different setting and a different exit but the entry is the same both let's look at the entry the entry is you know 152.30 and this one here 153 okay there is a little bit different but then we can see that climbing one two three trade one losing trade and one winning trade this is one two three four five trade nothing here nothing here this is five trade and this is a market order and we had one losing trade let's look on the market order not a limited order on the 300 you can use a market order and um, the things is uh, both of them they have a target on 1000 so this one here on the last trade if the trade is in your favor even if you have a target on 1000 the market is gonna stay if it's going to your direction is gonna stay on that trade it's not gonna lock that trade and this is what happened exactly today this is the benefits that took one trade exit pull back re-entry identify trend and then probably by around this area here we nailed our target but what I would like to show you on that you can see how the market went all the way down to the 52.29 this is the the, the 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 secret about it really and if you when the market pulled back if you are using an ATR or a trailing stop you would have got out of that game immediately and you would have got out of the game right there when the market was long you would have been out of that trade here and settled down for pr practically there is no money in it but the beauty about it if we see the market went all the way down to uh, 52.28 pulling back all the way up to the 53.03 and we still in that trade the reason is the trend is not over and we exit at 52.18 so there is from around that area all the way down here we nailed extra on the $1,000 uh, target because this one is 1000 and this one is 1000 this one took five trade and this one took uh, two trade and call it off uh, let me show you another example also so the advantage right now is um, when when the market is a flat especially around July and August around the Christmas Thanksgiving all this is gonna be a nightmare for any trader uh, to uh, to to you cannot swing the uh, the market when the market is flat so uh, that will be an idea for you to what time you started that auto trade or, or if you start early in the morning around the opening hour then we can swing the market or if we are in the afternoon especially right now in the afternoon there is no performance sometimes so that will be an idea after lunch to scalp the market or maybe you can use a higher time frame and this one here is on the CL no we need another one sorry about that let me okay there we go this is uh, the three range on the top is the scalping and at the bottom is uh, the swing trading and we can see they're both got in at 4604 both of them and this one here scalp the market one trade two trade three four five losing trade six seven eight trade and if we are looking at the three range is one trade two trade break even three four five trade and practically the because of the last trade it was a beautiful trade 
and the swing trading kept on that trade so it was a better exit on the scalping because also the, the scalping have a two different type of it, uh, an exit on the highs and the lows or on the trend uh, changing. So there is no ATR or there is no dummy indicator involved in here. So this is also, i like to show you that because of the last trade, it was a big drop and then we nailed it. But if it was not that big drop, then the, the, the swing trading would have made it. The, the one factor in here that when you are on a lower time frame, when we were using the 300 takes, we can go market order. But when we are using three range, the three range is an excellent, but also uh, it is, uh, how to say that, it is much smarter to, to filter the noises by using a limited order. And, and this is the difference between a high time frame and a low time frame. Uh, and on other things, it is very important also for a guys, um, when you are using the, 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 the three range as an example, uh, it is very accurate with the exit because both of them, sometimes they can exit and dump the market if the trend is, has changed. And doesn't matter if it's a break even, plus minus one tick is gonna dump that trade. As an example here, uh, we took the trade at 46.65, and then we got out at 46.59. So this is four ticks. Everybody can afford it if the direction has changed. So if we are looking um, uh, as an example, on a 230 takes, I want to show you something uh, that uh, this is a, I mean, it's not a really big time frame, but it's not a small time frame, it's a mid size frame. And we can see the entry was at 5310 on the 30 year treasury bond and then exit at 5308. Still is very acceptable that the things is with the auto trade. Uh, when we had the older version, we had uh, people having a problem how to manage auto trade, when to start the auto trade, or when to stop the auto trade. So now they have more advantage uh, to to um, to to nail uh, those trades. Uh, let me see another one. This one here is the 30-year Treasury bond. I think we covered the 30-year Treasury bond. Um, I have so many charts open and I cannot find it. But anyway, on the 30 year treasury bond is a 230 take, one trade, two trade, three trade, and it was over. But this is now, I wanna show you something very, very, uh, something today. And this is was the best trade for today. If I can find anything, just a second. I wanna show you the ES. Okay, I found it. Uh, today also we are testing the five minutes on the ES. And this is a very interesting one. And uh, we can see at uh, 7 at 20, look, this is this is, was really nasty uh, earlier today and in those area here, you will you will be better off with a scalping. Look, this is a very critical area here for any kind of auto trade. This is really. But anyway, if we look for today, we started at seven twenty, the first trade, and we took one trade, two trade, three trade, four trade, and five trade, on the five minutes time frame. On the swing trading, we have the same entry. 44.50, the first trade on the swing trading, and we are still in that trade. 
and and uh, the the scalper at forty four fifty and took one trade, two trade, three trade, four trade, five trade. So that tells you folks that I mean it's not going to be like this all day. I'm not trying uh, to to tell you that it's going to be every day, but when the market is going to trend, this is a very very amazing and another things I like to show you on the swing trade in here and in that it is the details the small details is the the most important we had an entry at 4450 and then we climb all the way to the 4850 but then if you notice on that one we had a pullback not to the 45.75 if we look at the wig we dropped to 44.25 44.25 and the entry was 43 no I'm sorry 44.50 so in a way any this is this is a very very important area here and this is what is gonna make a huge difference in the trade in the small details and if we have the entry at 4450 and you are using a trailing stop or an ATR or some kind of just a dummy indicator you would have stopped out immediately within just within two couple of three minutes on that trade. Then the the market climbed all the way to the forty eight seventy five and the market dropped to forty four twenty five but you did not exit. Not to just here, it was another pullback in this area here, forty seven seventy five and then the whole day it is so this is maybe it's not gonna happen every day but that kind of trade is gonna make a world of different in your trade because that kind of trade if it happened the spike with your trade in once a week that can cover the whole week for you what I want to do right now I would like to know how much we got out of that trade I'm gonna go ahead and say close position and I'm closing that position and that one here started at uh, around 725 and now I forced close of that position and now is uh, 3 40 p.m. Eastern time and it is Friday is over Normally on a Friday, usually after a couple of three hours, sometimes the market go in one direction. So this is an idea for Fridays. Sometimes it goes in direction one, uh, maybe up or down, or everybody want to just get rid of the trades and start for a uh, weekend. And most of the time during the normal uh, weeks that you will find the Fridays usually takes one direction and this is a really good advantage uh, to to have uh, one trade beautiful trade 150 ticks almost 140 ticks and 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 this is where the the market it was actually a very nice day today the market was running very smoothly but this is my maybe it's not uh, maybe it's not uh, the the best one for today but this one is it was the most enjoyable one for today that's for sure and if we look those two beautiful and um, and uh, this is uh, the difference with the new update 
and remember and this one here market order folks it's not a limited order this is a market order when you are using a five minutes three minutes 300 takes uh, you can easily four range three I mean I prefer on the three range uh, limited order uh, because that auto trade you don't have any optimization and you don't need any filters with it you don't have to use any filter but at least we can clean the noises when you are using the three range and um, this is a very very this one here uh, a clear picture uh, how uh, when the market is a flat or like those area here that can this area here can really destroy anybody's um, account because and here's the problem sometimes when 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 an amateur trader trying to trade and he don't see any money coming in the first thing she's gonna say what's wrong with that auto trade because he's not looking at the chart he's looking at the numbers but on, on this one here it is a total disaster so if you have the scalper on uh, that will be a little bit uh, nicer and when you in the morning when you when you want to start this auto trade around the opening hours I will use the swing trading on a, doesn't matter which time frame now uh, if the market is in between you don't know which one you need to use for today um, it's not the solution but it is better than nothing uh, uh, try to run both for one hour on a demo try to do that and try to see your trade because by putting them on the demo for one hour half an hour if you see the market is trending or scalping you can see the different how it is or you know that will help you identify uh, which direction you want to do most of the time if you start at the high hours around 8 8 30 9 9 30 uh, that uh, it is I will use the trend auto trade uh, on Monday usually is a slow um, maybe I will take the scalping on Monday especially now in July and August I mean I personally I don't like to be behind computers in August um, Tuesday usually is a fine day Wednesday we have the CL you gotta be careful how to play your games on the CL maybe early trade on the ES once the CL out of the way the CL inventory then maybe you can turn it on or the the auto trade has a filter try to turn it off half an hour it does it automatic the news is already built in it you just say half an hour before stop trading and then the auto trade stop trading and then maybe five minutes after the news is out of uh, the CL then the auto trade will start and most likely is gonna be trending after the news come out so you can do that and use <coughs> excuse me uh, you can use uh, the, the swing trading uh, usually uh, I'm talking in general on Thursdays they usually very smooth day and and Fridays if you are patient enough um, usually it's very advisable to start a little bit early on Friday and this is it's not unusual on Friday I'm not saying every Friday but it's not unusual on Fridays the market takes one direction on the last three four hours so either up or down keep going down or if it's going up and keep going out the problem is also I love reversal and on Friday when I see things like this I don't reverse the market uh, because uh, if you're trying to reverse that market today you would have been chopped and 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 uh, on Friday don't try to reverse the market because it's not usually is is going one direction this is I'm sharing what I what I have experienced and everybody is entitled to their uh, opinion uh, folks that's all what we have for today I wanna wish every one of you pleasant 
weekend and um, see you another day see you on the webinar on Tuesday God bless you all bye for now